Y'all ever have a game you just hate for probably illogical reasons, but, you know, still choose to anyway? Resident Evil 8. Sorry. Village. Okay, listen, I don't have beef with this game. I have fucking bovine with this game, okay? Like, I hate the name of the damn thing. And yes, that's petty, and it's also incredibly stupid, but so is naming it Village. Like, okay, imagine, you got bases loaded, RE4, 7, Silent Hill 1, ready to go. You got that all mixed together, and the best batter in the game right now just pulled out. This shit has a no reason to not be a grand slam. And oh my god, he bunted it. It is the fumble of the century. Or maybe I just don't like it. At its best for me, it's just a worse RE4. So I, I'd rather just play that. And at its worst, it's a significantly worse RE7. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather also just play that. But you know what? At least it has this guy. I like that guy. Oh, we, we smoking on that mid-pack tonight, gentlemen. I've never seen the third person in this shit. I don't know, I'll switch it out at some point, maybe, if I feel like it. Oh, right, this shit was in the trailer, and I immediately lost all interest. <laughs> and when the trailer for this started, I thought it was, like, one of those, like, pretentious, like, <laughs> limbo-like games. So I skipped it, and then I saw everybody talking about, oh, new Resident Evil, I'm like, why, where? Come, child, quench I don't give a fuck, bro, can I skip this? Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> I ain't reading all that. <laughs> what up, terrorist wife? How you doing? What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! All right. <laughs> Thanks. Doesn't... We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Talking about Ethan. <laughs> we moved out into the middle of nowhere so she didn't have to hear about the bad people. <laughs> Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. <laughs> Speaking of bad. <laughs> nothing. I'll put her down. Did you say something? Nothing. Like, and nobody says that. <laughs> what are you doing? Shut up, you. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Oh, look, it's one of these yeah, little creatures. Around. I should get rid of it someday. <laughs> I thought we moved out here to forget about that place. Let me bring this memorabilia that I found in this house. Dude. So, uh, this is a banger. Hold up. Oh, shit. They got another balloon. There's going to be a third one. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? Oh, well, it's a smaller balloon, but it's still, you know. Oh, shit. There's a lot of balloons. Yo. This is the coolest thing in this entire game. I swear to God. What do you think this guy's looking for anyway? You know, he's fucking locked in on that telescope. Oh, shit. We're going to get the fucking lore? Nope. <laughs> It just loops there. I was hyped, man. I thought we were getting some like Far Cry secret ending or some shit, whatever. Wife. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I ain't even gonna lie. It don't look bad. <laughs> what is it? Why are you making so much? You got like a whole like board out here and like you making is another okay? pot? What Sleeping are you like, doing? Uh, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. You fucking burn me? Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Ethan seems like a sad drunk, I'm gonna be honest, just you know. Finding you takes one sip, it. starts crying, type shit. <laughs> At least we're all together. <laughs> Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! Wife gets shot. What the hell, dude? Why are you doing that? That's so not cool. Like, what the fuck, Ethan? You suck in this game. Ethan, no. How cool would it have been if Chris was like an actual fucking villain character in this game? Some shit like that, you know? What if they did something with him? That would have been cool, I think, you know what I mean? I'm waiting for something to happen. They keep bringing him back for nothing. We hardly talk about anything else. What, what, what do you like? What do you do? What does Ethan do? What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Like, I... Uh, yeah, I don't know what they did to him between games. I don't- somebody at the voice direction was throwing. Alright. Fucking god forbid you want to run through the slowest section in any one of these games ever made. Anyway, well we got some time here. Uh, this is the worst Resident Evil game. 
<laughs> just flat out. How oh, about Resident Evil 6? Resident Evil 6. You know what? This has the same fucking problem as 6. It, it doesn't know if it wants to be an action, haha, funny game, or a fucking super serious horror game. At least 6 has the virtue of being a fun action game, right? <laughs> this one isn't scary and it isn't fun. <laughs> like, I don't. Both games, the story doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> you know? Like, they're both dumb. 6 is presented better. They're, they're dumb action cutscenes with really good voice acting for no reason. This game, they're shitty first person cutscenes with the worst voice acting I've ever heard. And it's so unfortunate because, like, Resident Evil game in the snowy mountains, that sounds the awesome. The fumble is insane. People who like this game, genuinely, what does it do well? Because I, I genuinely can't think of one thing that this game does that isn't ripped from another game and done like 10 times worse. What's going on? <laughs> Are you listening? Hey! Leave this man alone, he's cooking right now. Alright. <laughs> Dead body? Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Wait. There's more. Like, even if he did sound bad in 7, at least he shut the fuck up for, like, 90% of the game. <laughs> they got him talking every two seconds in this. A dead body? Jesus Christ. Uh, there's more. That's me. What the... <laughs> Whatever, dude. What the fuck was that? You see, like, sometimes like that he sounds, like, he sounds good sometimes. And then he does that shit. Hey guys, look, it's like it's like Resident Evil 4, but worse. <laughs> what if we took the menu from Resident Evil 4, took all personality from it? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? And also any reason for it to exist because it's never there's never any stress on inventory space. Where am I going? I need to find the the RE engine bolt cutters. There they are. <laughs> Can I move this out of the way? <laughs> hey fellas. Can I fucking do anything? <laughs> When y'all want to break in yet? Jesus. Want to get in here, dude? I'm trying to leave through the window. Useless fucking enemies, dude. Like, I'm I'm literally trying to open the door here. I don't know what you want from me. Like, I literally unbarricaded the door. <laughs> like, I don't know. There. What's, what is that conflicting with? <laughs> Nothing. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Okay. It's, uh, it's conflicting with, uh... Like, <laughs> get rid of that. Okay. Uh, unable to apply changes. What? What is it? What is it conflicted with now? There's nothing conflicting here whatsoever. I don't. Un oh, it, oh. Okay. Yeah. I. I don't know what. To, I don't know what that means. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? I, sure. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. All right. Are we good now? Thank you. What, what do you mean you don't know what I'm binding? It's your game. You should know what it, it's binding to. Like, I don't know what the fuck question marks is. What are you looking at me for? This whole thing where it's like, oh, look, it's like Resident Evil 4 because you're in the village. Like, it wants to be an action game so bad, but it, it doesn't do like the action-y things. Like, you can't fucking kickflip on a motherfucker, right? <laughs> what the fuck? I forgot they rode horses. <laughs> Does that ever come back? Do they ever ride horses again? Jesus. Oh, I, it's a scary face. Get away. <laughs> Is every cutscene just like <laughs> the character gets really close to you? Hey guys, I got a great idea. What if we took Resident Evil 4 and 7 and made them both worse? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great idea. It's a fucking Jimbo. <laughs> you know what we should also do? Take the least interesting part of Silent Hill 1, the story, and, uh, you know, add that on top. In life and in death, we give glory. Yeah, yeah, it's foretold by Gyromancy. Uh, I know. Don't give a shit. Hey, what are you doing here? I, I, I don't, hiding from the fucking werewolves, jackass. I changed the button to E. Why is it different in the menus? Because it's fucking stupid. What the fuck is E conflicting with? Puzzles rotate right. Fucking, I don't know, the mouse? That's how you usually rotate shit? 
What the fuck are you conflicting with now? Oh, you're conflicting with the secondary controls. Well, I thought that's why they were secondary. Like, uh, are we good now? Oh my god, this, uh, the, I, I, I don't know how you fuck up the key binding menu. Can I leave? Unable to, unable to save changes. Well, what are the changes? <laughs> they, they, oh, I don't have an open map slash journal button. M. Yeah, I, I know that's the secondary menu. I want it to be the main one. That's why I left it in the secondary one. Am I good to go now? Oh my god. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Ooh. Safer here than out there, that's Who for sure. Who are you? Why are you asking me? Oh, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. I don't know if she trusts Inside. me, bro. I just opened the fucking door. <laughs> Wait here. I'll check on the others. Okay, that light got RGB in it? What the hell is that? Why is it doing? What the fuck? Uh, ma'am, I think your house is possessed. <laughs> ma'am, can I put a landmine down in your... <laughs> oh shit, I get to be part of the prayer circle? Pipe. Amen, bro. Amen. Hear our voice. Together as Come on, Ethan, join in. You know this part. Within the endless dark, to deliver us into fate's hand. Come on, Ethan, you're gonna doom everybody in here if you don't join in. <laughs> Ethan, this is what you get for not praying, dude. Praying? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't have to do anything here. This is a scripted set. I'll be leaving. Leave me alone. No. Okay, bye. <laughs> you want a landmine? What the fuck is up with that red lighting? What is that? Ah. <laughs> Step back. We can bust out with this. Step back. Get in. Bro. <laughs> we just back over here. <laughs> you're kind. I hope your family is safe. I hope you're safe. I hope nothing bad happens to me in <laughs> mere moments. Find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. Ethan, back up. She's in that old castle. I feel like I'm watching a eye contact this training video. Save your daughter. <laughs> I want to burn alive. <laughs> yeah, I cared so much about that character. Why the fuck is this happening again? This is nothing like the last time. What do you mean I, again? It's a completely different scenario. Why is this happening again? Oh sure, villain reveal. Uh, was I guess. What was that? Shitty villain reveal for a shitty villain. I'm down. Well, well. <laughs> Didn't think anyone was left. Dude, I don't know what this fucking exit is, dude. Mother Miranda is gonna love you. Gonna love you. Like it sounds like a joke voice. <laughs> oh, there you, there, there she is. There's the whole marketing. Mother Miranda, I must. Holy shit, Mike peeking. Quiet now, oh my god, why does her audio sound so bad? Too close. Wait, do those freaks have rose? <laughs> Wait, do those freaks have rose? Like, I don't know, it sounds like completely like different like contexts. But holy shit, her mic was like actually like peeking. That's only allowed to happen to me. <laughs> yeah, my audio setup sucks, but I don't have that, that Capcom money. I must say that castle arouses suspicion. Large man. <laughs> so you. Oh look, I can upgrade my weapon. There's no point <laughs> because the weapons you get later in the game are just straight out better. It, it's absurd. It, it makes no sense. Why did they do it like that? It's like they literally looked at the Martian RE4 and was like, hey, I know how to do that. And completely whiffed the entire point of the Merchant in 4. But I'm not usually like a... They don't get it. This game, they don't understand. But like, hey, genuinely. Upgrading weapons is legit just like a beginner's like, oh, whoops, <laughs> guess what? Upgrading weapons is a horrible idea. Oh, what's this? You like this weapon better than the other ones? Mm, too bad. It's straight up worse. <laughs> like... What? Why let me upgrade them? Oh, so you know, you can get the- they can be better for the one area you will use them for. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Lovely. Also, this game stutters for no reason at all. Like, every once in a while, I guess the game, like, tries to load shit in, and it just, like, stutters <laughs> completely. It sucks. I hate this game, dude. Whatever. We're in the best part of the game, so fuck it. Coincidentally, the only part with any marketing whatsoever. I mean, I know what they were doing with the marketing, and I mean, it works. Like, you know, I'm not above saying the bug people are hot. 
That's all I'm saying. But Mother, like, I you know, like I'm not going to so. sit here and try and deny that because I don't like the game. Like I'm not, you know. <laughs> really got to like chill out with the hand stuff. Like it's not even like funny anymore, dude. Like get a little creative with it. Crazy witches. witches. What are you fucking talking about? I haven't tear out a fucking fingernail or something. Do something to make me uncomfortable. I know he gets his hands fucked up. Because <laughs> that's all you do with him. The whole, whole two games, all he does is get his hands fucked with. Like, I don't give a shit. I do like this character, to be honest. I just don't like how the merchant works in-game. I want to see what the third-person mode is like, because I've never seen that. Is it good? It's really stuttery. <laughs> What does he look like? Oh my god, this looks horrible, actually. Why is it like that? Oh my god. That looks so bad. Why does he jitter all over the fucking screen? That is not fucking playable at all. Holy shit. Why does it look like that? Wow. That was... Holy shit, dude. How the fuck is that real? <laughs> it's like the game at all costs is like, we can't let him see his face. Quickly make the character model jitter around like a nutcase. Why are they called Slice witches? <laughs> They're clearly not witches. Watch. Ethan doesn't know his fucking children's Halloween <laughs> monsters. No wonder he didn't want to read the story about the bat. He doesn't know what the hell it is. Hey, what's that shit that drinks blood and turns into bats? Oh, <laughs> you mean the witch? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Metal scrap jump scare. Oh, what's that? I got a pipe bomb. Oh, it was, <laughs> what the fuck? Anybody like change the field of view in this game? Because holy shit, I am way too close to Ethan right now. Like it's it's actually <laughs> like kind of hard to see how fucking close I am. Y'all got FOV settings in 2021? Is it a no? Okay, great. You stupid man thing. <sighs> I've got a mine for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just fucking flashbanged myself, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? What? <laughs> what what's wrong, Ethan? Oh. I never fucking understood the point of like, oh look, the bridge collapsed underneath you, but you're gonna go across anyway. Like, I don't care. Just let me walk across the bridge. It's so, like, unnecessary. Like, sure, it might scare Ethan because the bridge gave out underneath him, but I don't give a fuck. I'm not walking across the bridge. I won't let you down. God, her mic does not sink yet. Why does she sound farther away here than when we were outside the window? What the fuck's going on with the audio in this game? <laughs> Why was that so quiet? <laughs> She's louder now that she's further away. What the fuck? Go ahead, do your worst. Ethan, you just got your head slammed through uh, yeah, a good three full, a good three floors. You don't got the grounds to be talking like that, man. Shit, I don't know if anyone's cool enough to say, Shh, do your worst. <laughs> like what? I think that's just like a nerd emoji shit to say, Ethan. I don't know. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god! They never fucked up his hands before. How did they? I, oh, oh my god! They never did anything with his hands. I don't know how to react to that. It's so fucking bad, man. Oh my god! All you do with this character is cut off his hands. <laughs> like that's supposed to mean anything the sixteenth time. I love physics-based puzzles in Resident Evil games. This is not obnoxious at all. And now use your bullets. I didn't hit the fucking health button. This game still has the same dog shit hotkey for health. I don't know. Fucking caps lock. <laughs> Oh, I can't use caps lock. That one's forbidden. Why? I don't know. Every button I'm hitting is forbidden for some reason because, you know, you're only allowed to use the letter keys. Let's see, make that control. Like a normal person. What's conflicting with it now? All I did, right? I took EO off of control and I set it to C. And I took C off of crouch and I set it to control. Uh, mind you, control was not conflicting with anything prior to this. So what the fuck is it conflicting with now? I don't know, what's this? It's a... Mm, well, why was it not conflicted with mm, when it was fucking heel? What are you talking about? I don't know. 
H. Sure. I don't know what H does. Let me click H right now and see what happens. Fucking nothing. What do you know? What do you fucking know? The question mark button isn't important and does nothing whatsoever. Wow. I don't understand why that's a thing. How it's a thing. Or uh, anything, man. This is the worst puzzle ever made. <laughs> Can I even call this a puzzle? It's run into the chandeliers until some shit happens. Like, what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> I don't know, guys. This one's so much better than Resident Evil 6, where the game's actually fucking fun. No, no. This one's really good because, yeah. Um, let me play with the ball puzzle because I love playing with balls. I await your patronage. Shut the fuck up. I'm busy. Okay, yeah, that was really fucking easy to see. Can we zoom out a bit here, man? Like, is that an option? I don't want to be this fucking close to ball. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to be able to see anything in here? Like, rotating left and right. There's nothing here. <laughs> like, back the fuck up, Ethan. What are you doing? I can't see shit. <laughs> All right, this is the bell puzzle. I like this one. <laughs> I like just finding shit and shooting at it. Oh no. Oh no. I get it. These monster are the villagers. Oh no. Like, look at that. Why does it stutter like that? I've never seen another game in the series do that. Like, why does this game run like shit? This game runs fine. It's just randomly. It's like... Like, it doesn't know what to... I don't know. This game have the thing where if you upgrade ammo capacity, it refills your bullets. I know 4 Remake doesn't have to do that. And it's stupid. <laughs> like, why would you take that out? There's a mod that, to fix stutters? What the fuck? <laughs> right, I guess I'll be right back. <laughs> they got an FOV slider in this shit, okay. I don't know, man, this looks kinda way better. The face expresses insurmountable rage. <laughs> shit, I feel that, man. Can we, can I go? I, I put the shit in the right spot. I mean, can I progress, maybe? Oh, no, I have to wait an hour for the doors to open. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Now you mysteriously can't come through this door. Like, <laughs> what's the point of stalker enemies if they're just so, like, heavily scripted that they can't go through... X door for arbitrary reason. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Also, I always found this, like, equipping animation really weird. <laughs> like, it's really bizarre. I don't know. There's something really off about the way you equip weapons in this game, dude. Like, you got too many hands, man. I don't know. Is this a cutscene or a damage? I can't tell because, uh, dog shit. You took damage or mandatory cutscene? <laughs> Call it. Can I pick up the bullets? Thank you. Okay, I have to wait for you to stop talking before I can pick up the bullets because, uh, you know. Oh. <laughs> Did you just turn red before you were gonna attack? Like, I could tell when you're gonna attack, you have an hour-long charge-up. You don't need to turn red to indicate that. You're the one who's cursed. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Half of Ethan's dialogue in this game is like, No, what you said, but stupid. You're dumb. You're the one. You're you. Uh, looks like I'm getting out of this place. Looks like I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Looks like the door just opened and the outdoors are right here. I couldn't have figured that out. I can tell I'm getting out of that place because I'm fucking outside. What do you want from me? All right, can you catch fish in this game? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, you, you kind of ruined it there. Oh, that looks like that symbol I know. Stop talking <laughs> Wait a second. That looks familiar. <laughs> Come on. I said that as a joke. I didn't think he was actually... Oh, right. I forgot. You know, everything must be directly explained by Ethan Winters. My bad, my bad. My mistake, my mistake. You can't have one cutscene where it's like, 
hey, that kind of looks like that uh, that thing I know without being like, hey, that looks like that's familiar, huh? You remember that from the other game? Like, yeah, I know what it is, man. <laughs> Oh, they do have it. Hand head. <laughs> All right, let me see. I got zero bullets in the sink. They refill it. What the hell? What are they doing in four remake? Then why would they take that out of four? If it's not, if it's in this game, if it's in original four, why is it not in the re? What? Oh, I almost forgot to open the outhouse. I don't know. I like the, like, just amount of collectibles and shit you can get in this game. Like, it's not that bad, right? Like, it's just the worst game in the series, but, like, outside of that, it's not horrible. I mean, it's not great, right? Like, it's kind of well put together. You know, when it isn't necessary to fucking <laughs> download mods to make it run correctly in 2021. Buy the trauma pack. <laughs> oh, right, there's a, <laughs> like, upgrade system. I, I like this. This is cute. This is this is a this is a W. <laughs> this is a W on this game. Oh, dude! I, wait, <laughs> I forgot to sell my old gun because it's useless. Like when I first played this game, like I was like, I'd, I'd rather stick with the 1911 the whole game. Uh, yeah. Then when I got to the area where it gives you the next gun, it just immediately goes to trash. Like it it just sucks out of nowhere. Like it does fine for like the rest of the game. Then you get to the area where it gives you the next gun. And if you decide you don't want to use that gun, the 1911, it just sucks. Like, it doesn't do any damage. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid, dude. I suppose you'd call this a farewell to our... Ah, my man. <laughs> so it's hour-long fucking elevator ride. That elevator on console takes fucking forever, bro. <laughs> like, it's like the longest part of this whole segment of the game is just the elevator. <laughs> Oh, look, it's the creepy doll. Hey, I don't know. All oh, right, you gotta like feel up the doll. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this, dude? Like, you don't gotta run your fingers up like that, man. That's just fucking, you're such a strange little character. <laughs> like, you can see the seams on this thing. You can't be like, oh, I'm looking for the seam. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you can see where they are. You don't gotta act like a nutcase. Like, what is wrong with you? RE7 box jump scare? What the fuck? <laughs> and then it's just here? Okay. And that reminds me of a better game. Hello. Nope. I already tried to answer you. I'm not trying again, man. You had your chance at me. I don't care, man. You naming your child after a flower, bro? At least make it like a cool flower that people don't really talk about a lot. You know, like fucking name that bitch Chrysanthemum or some shit. <laughs> like, I feel like this could have been done well, right? If it wasn't the most scripted fucking snooze fest of all time. But I guess that's just like consequence of run away from the enemy type or or it's all going to be like this. Like, there's no urgency in like horror games where it's like you have to run away from the enemy like i gotta run away from the the big baby man like okay i get to run down a straight line <laughs> like okay thrilling gameplay i know it's so like linear it, it just doesn't work for me and then and then you get to hide under the bed and wait for it to come in and then walk back out all right i have to go outside and trigger him to be here and then I gotta run back all the way down the same path and then hide under the bed. Because, you know, if I do it out of order, you won't be able to get the scary baby coming out of the door scene. Fucking thriller gameplay right here, gentlemen. My favorite part in Resident Evil games. I love the, I like the part where you wait <laughs> for shit. And now I can run back down the same hallway again with no danger whatsoever because it's a scripted set piece. Yeah, it's just really try hard. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh yeah, and then we get the drug sequence. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. You're you're 0 and 2 on this one. I'm not scared of children or dolls, <laughs> so next two. Yes, I I do know how to count, Ethan. I, I could have, you know. Oh dude, we're gonna meet <laughs> we we're gonna see the the one good character in the game. I mean, in comparison 
Because if everybody's kind of ass, the one that isn't the worst kind of sticks out a little more. That's my boy right there. That's my dog. I'll be having that. I'll just be taking this. I'll be having that. <laughs> well, yeah, actually. <laughs> You're like a little goblin sure. character just taking all the magical all items in front child. of you. Wait, wait, please, please. <laughs> Care. <laughs> Hear him out, man. What's so funny? You're stupid. Dude, he's spitting. My man. Oh my god, my fucking boy, dude. He's spitting his shit, and I agree with him 100%. Escape Moro? Shit. I wish there was Moro of him in the game. Fucking got him. Dude. Whoa. Oh, do I get to drive this? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, this thing turns fast. Oh my god, you turn fast. You turn faster than you accelerate. It's so weird. All right. Stupid, the cutscene's coming up. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> I, I was hiding behind the curtain, <laughs> like you. <laughs> Ethan. Ethan. <laughs> hey, they hella shit it. Like, look at this. They act like he's a villain the whole game and then do nothing with it. The goddamn box art has him turning into a werewolf. Like, do something with him. Get him killed. Get him infected. Get him. Do fucking anything, man. I don't know. Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. We're out of your depth. I'm voiced by Jeff Shire now. You don't recognize me from the Resident Evil 3 remake, and I don't sound the exact same, and it's not jarring at all. <laughs> I'm Chris Redfield now. It's the same voice, man. It doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't work. I like him. I like him as a voice actor, but goddamn. It's, it's so bizarre. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and I love this little character. Me after the second monster energy. And now we get to run in a straight line for the rest of the level. <laughs> Yippee. Oh wow, scripted set piece. <laughs> waiter, waiter, more yellow tape please. I can't see what I'm supposed to shoot. I'm really happy there's no danger whatsoever. He's just like running in circles. Cause I, you know, I'm just chilling <laughs> to be honest. Like, <laughs> literally no threat at all, just walk around. <laughs> That's the whole area. And it's like, come on. Caught myself a big no. <laughs> no. No, that one's kind of fire, to be honest. I like that one a lot. <laughs> oh, hello. I went through that completely. In death as he was in life. Disgusting. All right. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. Exit's up ahead. Yeah? Tell me more. I couldn't have fucking figured that one out. Like, let me fucking look around, Ethan. Hey, come on. You don't got to be like, the exit's over there. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> me? I said, I don't need, I don't need to hear what you're saying. This way. <sighs> Ethan be like, I think I should go that way. I do like the exploration between areas. I will say, I, I, I'm not above admitting that. It's the best part of the game, <laughs> unironically. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's like seven. <laughs> it's like that other game that's uh, slightly better. A lot better. <laughs> the uh, animals don't respawn and the option to sell animals is there before the recipe menu shows up. So, it's kind of just asking to be like, whoops, you sold the fish at the start of the game because there's <laughs> no evidence that this, like, well, cooking well, menu exists. And, uh, so, and then you sell I'm the fish. And it's like, that's it. Whatever, dude. I wouldn't there expect this game to do anything that makes sense. <laughs> like, uh, you know, just have this menu be an option as soon as you have one of the ingredients, you know? Fucking just throwing that idea out there, you know? Oh, I need to open this outhouse for the achievement. Oh my god, that actually was the last one. <laughs> Dude, I remember, like, struggling with trying to get that for 100%. Like, I had to go through the game, like, 
I don't know, like three or four times just trying to get that one. And I, I mean, I got it. Uh, there's like a secret boss fight up in the field. I hella want to do that. Oh, there's fish out here. Oh, look at this. This, like, this just makes me want to play like a straight survival game. I want to go fishing. I want to be out on the lake, in the middle of the woods. There we go. Movement speed increase. I would have liked this upgrade in 7. I don't remember how like useful this is. Like how fast it upgrades you? I'm assuming not much. Because, uh, you know, it's a modern Resident Evil game. If you're not going slow as fuck, you're not doing it right. It's, um... Essentially non-noticeable. I, I, I'm I, not seeing any difference. I mean, maybe? But, like, if you gave me the game before and after this and didn't tell me, I wouldn't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Found evidence of you. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude was straight disgusted when he saw Ethan, and I can't blame him. Ethan, you got an unfortunate acronym, and like, I, you know, I feel... I can't help but sympathize with that. I can't relate, but I can sympathize. I hella meant to put a mine down first, but that's okay, I can put it down right now. Oh yeah, charge up at me, man. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the bonus boss fight. You're just who I was looking for. What? They got footprints in this game? I don't care. <laughs> this game's so realistic it has real time footprints. I don't give a fuck. Hey man. Fucking <laughs> that was the hardest jump scare so far. It didn't have any noise or nothing. That was just all of a sudden. Oh. Oh, shit. I thought I had to put the thing in first. <laughs> like, uh, well, if I'm never gonna use the grenade launcher, right? Hold on, I got, like, 30 pipe bombs. Wherever they are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, time to progress after half an hour. <laughs> it, it, like, genuinely kind of ruins the experience a little bit. Like, the way he talks, like, you don't get that, like, opportunity to be, like, see the monster and be like, what the fuck is that? Because Ethan's already saying it. And I don't give a fuck what Ethan thinks. I want to think about it. You know? Like, I don't get to say, hey, this way looks important because Ethan's already saying that shit. He's either saying shit I already know or he's spouting one-liners, which does not work for him because he's fucking pathetic, dude. There's not one cutscene where he's not getting his shit beat in and then immediately turning around and being like, hey, do your worst. Like, dude, I know somebody's gonna be like, oh, well, Leon talks of Resident Evil 4, do you like that game? Yeah, that's because during gameplay, that man is a stone wall. He doesn't say two, he's, he doesn't say anything for the entire game except wait and follow me. And, but like during like actual gameplay, it's like he doesn't do anything. You know, he's not like, oh, look, a church. That's probably where they have her. If I interact with the doors, he, he like types that out for me and I can be like, oh, okay, that's like a nice little hint. You know, but like if I see it off in the distance and he's like, that's probably where I should go, then it'd piss me off too. While I'm playing the game, let me play the game. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like the, the whole like under the house sequence at the start is like, it's like a dead body. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I, I know, <laughs> okay? Like, I know what, what I'm looking at here. And then he sees a monster, and he's like, what the fuck? I want to be thinking that, okay? I don't give a, I don't give a shit what Ethan thinks about it, okay? I want to I wanna have that moment for myself where I can wonder what I'm looking at here. But I don't, I don't get that, you know? <laughs> he takes that away from me because he's a stand-in, but he's also a character in this game, and he doesn't work as either. This must be their den. Oh, uh, that's what I'm, that's what the... This is what I'm talking about. Like, I can't infer that. Like, I, I don't have two eyes bolted onto the front of my face. Like, like I can't, like, put that together. I can't let the, the gears turn a little bit. Be like, hey, there's an awful lot of these guys in here. Maybe this is where they come from. I can't think about that. I'm not allowed. Because I need to know now that Ethan thinks this is their den. And I have to give a shit what Ethan thinks. See, like, here I can be like, oh... Maybe, maybe this is where they live, because there's a lot of them here, and they're eating shit. I don't know. Like, I could have learned that, you know? I could have been like, oh, look, look at the environment. I get to look around and see what's happening, and, and maybe figure out something that's going on. No, no, Ethan doesn't want me to do that, okay? Ethan wants to make sure I know as soon as I enter the door, don't even get a chance to look around. 
this must be their den. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm surprised he's not like this. Must be their leader. Like this is a cool boss fight, though. You know, like when the game actually like lets you cook a little bit. It's not the worst combat in the series. I mean, it's not great for like an action game. Which I mean, I don't know if that's what this game's trying to be. I can't tell. It's trying to be six different games in one. And it did. Eat shit. See, like that's not bad. Like, okay, the thing is already passed. He's already beaten the enemy. He hits him with a, you know, he hits him with a, a haha. -ha. Hit him with a one-liner, right? Give Ethan like a solid victory and then hit him with a one-liner. Sure. Not after he gets slammed through six different floors. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> Did you growl at him? What the? <laughs> it's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Yeah. Okay. Can I? Naturally. Don't care what he's talking about. Let me into the shop. Food is life. I don't want to wait for his voice line to be over before I can go into the store. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. <laughs> I can only hear this motherfucker is that, that saucy vampire, bro. Man, this shit ain't fair. I, like, artificially like this character in reverse because I played fucking Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I'm pissed. This game's using future knowledge to its advantage right now. It's pissing me off. Sorry, <laughs> All right, maybe I hella forgot about Listen, what this guy was quiet. actually like. Lady, super bitch. Ugly All right, maybe not. <laughs> okay, you're losing me. <laughs> you're losing me. I don't give a damn about your personal issues. <laughs> you said that so friendly. So do I. Like I don't give a damn about your yeah, personal you're issues. <laughs> it's so like nice. You and me. Together, we go save Rose, and then we wait, wait, was that like a cartoon swipe sound effect, or did I just like hallucinate that? All right, uh, he, he's he's better than I remember him being, but like that, that's probably just Baldur's Gate revisionism, man. I don't know. I don't even have that gun anymore. I thought these, I thought the real time cutscenes were supposed to be, or maybe they're not real time, and they're just like really shitty pre-rendered one. <laughs> I thought the point of fucking in-engine cutscenes was supposed to be like, yeah, Resident Evil 4 2005 literally fucking did that. Why can't this game fucking change what gun I'm holding? Oh yeah, you can tell this is about the time when they want you to upgrade the pistol. Because, <laughs> oh my god, this thing is straight up useless. Or, sorry, not upgrade the pistol, but get a better pistol this place is messed up i got to get upstairs Stop. oh there is another shotgun shit i've been upgrading my last shotgun look at the power on that thing 11000 you can't even get up to that number like you this can't tell me investment. that it's like the resident evil 4 merchant when like the default next shotgun is better than the fully upgraded like that's unreal Oh well, I never, I've never seen this this screen before in my life. Um, there's also plenty of space in my inventory, and the game's lying to me. Oh, okay. So you know how in Resident Evil 4, when you put something on top of something else, it automatically like selects that for you. Yeah, this game doesn't do that because fuck you. You know, it doesn't like automatically make space. Be like, I did not cancel. Unfortunately, it looks like about? you lack the space for that. Unfortunately, it looks like you lack the space. Look at how much room I have. <laughs> also, I don't want to play the inventory mini game because this is so much less visually interesting than RE4. <laughs> Fine, I'll resort the shit. Like, why? Game from 2005, right? You you select something, try and put it on top of the other thing. It automatically selects the other thing, so that presumably. I could put it back down here. But no. 2021 video game says, no, no. You're not doing it right. Do it this way. Why? Why can't I put it here? Pick that up while putting this down. Doesn't make any fucking sense, especially since they did it right 20 years ago. This guy's having a heart attack in my ready. Like, leave me in peace, man. I'm trying to play the inventory mini game. Oh, when you do it with this, the whole screen flashes at you. So heaven forbid you you pick the wrong thing they want you to do. <laughs> See how nice that looks? Imagine how nice it would look with an ounce of color on the screen. 
shut the fuck up. Like, dude's passing a kidney stone in my left ear while I'm trying to, like, do anything. <laughs> Seems useful. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> like, what? Capcom, you expected me to pick up this item that you made me go out of my way to find. Right. With the exact same shape as the thing on the wall. Two feet in front of me. And you, to, and, and you say to yourself, I don't, think, I don't think they're gonna get it. I don't think they're gonna understand what, what that is. I, I think they're gonna think that's a treasure or something. Uh, so let's have Ethan say, it seems useful. Like, I... <laughs> like, I'm brain dead, not stupid. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to be like one of those, like, game good because doesn't explain to you back in the good old days. Like, I'm not trying to be like that. Like, it's not even that because it'll be something right dead center in front of you outlined with the yellow tape and he'll still be like, I guess that's the way I gotta go. Okay, dude, I was just about to make a joke, like, oh, you're not gonna say this could be useful this time, are you, Ethan? And then, no, no, he does. He does. Because, you know, I can't figure out that I'm supposed to use a cog in the cog-sized hole. I need, I need Ethan to be like, I could use this. Like, it's for decoration or something. Like, what do you want me to think it is? Got a long way to go. Fuck off, dude. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. I don't give a shit about your family drama. <laughs> shit, Ethan. <laughs> I've been saying the same thing about you since the seventh game, man. <laughs> you can't, you can't start doing that when your whole character is my wife, <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> Literally, entire character is his family. I don't give a shit about your family drama. Like, come on. Is this a blow up thing, or does this just look like that to, like, fuck with me? Oh, God. Good. <laughs> Great. Oh, of course he can't blow it up. It doesn't have yellow fucking tape all over the side. Oh, dude. How? Oh. How could I? If that happens, it's all over. For your kid. And for the whole village. But don't worry. The whole village? That's that's what the stakes are here. Some random mountain village. I like. They're gonna take over the world. Cause I mean, we we've seen that before. Take Rose. I'd like to see you try. They already. There's more. I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta put your foot down and say, this Ethan guy, I gotta put him down, I gotta take him out back, t a hog tie him, put a fucking ball and gag in his mouth, man. I guess I should turn the voices back on. <laughs> Fine. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I regret it. You know, everybody gets on Chris's ass for being like, why didn't he fucking say anything to Ethan? I wouldn't want to talk to Ethan either, man. That's not the gun I have. Holy shit. This looks so fucking bad, dude. I was gonna say, it can't be that hard to just like change the gun model depending on what one I have. Or even just use real time cutscenes because they look like real time cutscenes. I mean, that's all I'm saying. RE4 did that in 2005. I don't think it should be difficult to do this game in it, but hey, that's all I'm saying. But that looked really fucking bad, so I, I don't know if they can. Again? It Chill out, you got fucking bested by a redditor once. Actually, yeah, I'd be pretty fucking devastated too, man. <laughs> you killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I can give a shit about your family drama? Hand me that wrench. <laughs> Hold the light still, boy. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> my men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Chris? What the hell? And do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. <laughs> I don't like the way Chris talks in this game. I don't know if it's the voice or the... Dialogue itself. I don't know, man. Something's fucking weird with him. Why do I have to hold this for an hour? Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I was never big on the whole mech fight. <laughs> it's, well, you know, while we're at it. Do you have to make this noise every time I fucking turn? Okay. That's not obnoxious 
whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not big on this fight. Not because I'm like, oh, it breaks my immersion. But it's just not very fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when does he say the line? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's funny because he said the funny joke from Resident Evil 5. I don't have enough space in my inventory. Get rid of the mine. <laughs> I don't know. There are items which cannot be discarded in the discarded area. Why? What's wrong with the... What's wrong with the mine? Why can't you discard the bomb? Dude, imagine you're playing Resident Evil 4 and the game hits you with, oh yeah, you can't throw away the 30 incendiary grenades they're gonna give you. I don't know, man. This game is so ass. Oh, dude, Ethan, the alpha is calling you. <laughs> you woke up the, the wolf side of Chris on the box. <laughs> You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Well, that's because Mia's such Poor a fucking blank Ethan. slate of a character. I <laughs> think you would not notice. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> that's like the one goaded Ethan line in this game. That's the one already seven Ethan line coming out. Oh, dude, we're about to see the worst cutscene. Ever no, we're about to see the worst of Ethan and his voice. There we go. Oh wait, not yet. <laughs> we get to do the the Chris level next. I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body. Let's go. Share your screen, and I'll go. Away. <laughs> Share your screen. <laughs> I had to take a picture of the body. <laughs> I couldn't recover him, but I got the sweet picture, though. She murdered him. I mean, he shot first, man. That's his self-defense, man. Don't worry about it. God damn it, when does it end? Should have ended for you in six, man. Why didn't you die two games ago? Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. What the fuck is this dialogue? <laughs> this shit's so stupid. This is fun. It's like a you get to shoot everything segment. Which I mean that's how it is. You know, I'd I'd take this over the RE7 boat any fucking day, dude. What the hell is that thing? It's a giant enemy black goop, like every other enemy in this franchise. <laughs> Like, this is cool. <laughs> like, this is... <laughs> That's cute. I, I can appreciate that. Crazy how this game, like, goes, like, gets, like, way better once it full commits to action. I'm just observing. I'm just seeing... I'm just pointing out what I'm seeing here, man. The Megamycetes. <laughs> that shit's stupid. <laughs> Fucking worst name ever. Literally, like, not even a full step away from calling it... The big goop. I can't take that name seriously, dude. So if Marina was fake to you, where's the real Bruh. She sold me for her I forgot about this shitty, stupid fucking I wonder what happened to the real Mia. I wonder where she is. If she wasn't the real Mia, where where could she be? Hmm. We really should have told Ethan the plan. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, we really should have talked about Ethan. I wonder where Mia would have been. This must be Miranda's lab. No. Oh, you got Ethan Winter Syndrome too? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Look, it's the guy who got fucking punched in the shit and he's talking about Resident Evil 5. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's just like Resident Evil 5. It's just like that good game I like. Look, it's just like that good game I like again. Look, it's just like my terrorist wife that I don't like. Look, it's just... Eh. I want to use my laser. <laughs> God damn. It really is you. You're under arrest. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? <laughs> Stop, <laughs> dude. Did you see? <laughs> Stop. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. God, you're boring. What do you do? Just, what does Ethan do? Ethan just like sit at home all day and stare at the wall. <laughs> does he have a job? I mean, he went to Louisiana on an email, just like on a whim, seemingly. He had a friend in the intro. I mean, you don't understand how special he is. Oh no, the worst cutscene ever. No. <laughs> like, not about the story. I don't give a fuck about what's happening in the story, but it's 
also What's stupid. But Ethan's fucking voice in this cutscene drives me nuts. It's cold. It's cold. It's like somebody who's never been cold in their life before trying to imitate what it sounds like to be cold. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> like, faced, so my man. There's my goat. In the worst part of seven. <laughs> it's still my goat in this game, though. <laughs> like, dead. I mean, she. Like, dude. I still have to save Rose. This is the worst voice acting I've ever heard in my life. Not even bullshitting, dude. Oh, you say that in the same franchise that has, I hope this isn't Carissa's blood. But like, that's entertaining at least. <laughs> like, this is boring and dog shit. There he is, there's my goat. <laughs> there's my better game. You were murdered by Jack. W. <laughs> I knew he had it in him. That's my goat. <laughs> we smoking on that Ethan Winters pack for tonight. We ain't pouring one out. We pouring one back trying to listen to this voice acting. I gotta go. Alright, well you, you should have pissed before we left, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Look, I, look this game fucking well sucks but like even like before it came out i didn't even give a shit Do like <laughs> i should have been so fucking hyped like new resident evil game i loved seven game. so much be but sure like i genuinely did not care <laughs> like and i mean that's probably because the marketing was trash but but uh, regardless you know i didn't give a shit <laughs> and then I, I saw people play it I, well i saw like a gameplay clip and i was like well i guess i don't want to miss out <laughs> then i played it and i mean i don't know how but like i was straight up disappointed by like this game that i had literally zero expectation for so i mean it kind of soured me low fps background be like i kind of like that actually that's got a i like that a lot i don't know i'm just saying it, it was an achievement to fucking disappoint me with this game it's <laughs> like i'm an honest to god sellout for this entire franchise like it's not even funny bro once i kill you properly get her now get her <laughs> 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 Get her. Rose is mine! Ethan, Chris gave you the easiest fucking opening of all time. And you fumble like that? Come on, bro. Anyway, final boss. It's a goop. Monster. <laughs> attack? What do you mean attack? Give me a fucking thing to attack with. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Can I use the sniper rifle instead? I want a no scope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> we did it. I guess. Whatever. <laughs> really generic final boss design, isn't it? <laughs> like, eh, she kind of looks like a spider. <laughs> I guess. Shut the hell up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> We're here for the downfall. All oh, right, they try and hide his face the whole time. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid looking. <laughs> they try so fucking hard, and it looks so bad. You're gonna make him a character. You can't do the. He doesn't have a face thing. You show his face in the last game. <laughs> it's not like it's a mystery. <laughs> High stakes movement here. <laughs> We're getting away to saunter. <laughs> <laughs> it's so obnoxious. Yeah, give the bomb fucking detonator device to the guy who's Goodbye, melting. Mr. Rosemary, you didn't even name her after the flower. You named her after a fucking spice. Ethan. You're a nutcase. Hit him with the... the boom. Hey. <laughs> He's gone. Yes. <laughs> Keep him out of here. Get this whole bloodline off my screen, bro. <laughs> Put the dots together. <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. Where? 
He the, was the bomb all along. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to find out like this. He ate that fucking pie from SpongeBob. <laughs> Chris? I'm a fucking 60 year old man. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? <laughs> Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. There we go, I did RE9. <laughs> Get away. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I was not remembering it wrong. I really don't like this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't want to fucking listen to this shit, dude. All right, I forgot she had like a whole DLC and it was like painfully okay. Hey, Dad. Listen, I saw you take the jacket, but the sweater that he was wearing also, I don't think that... Sorry, <laughs> he still had that on. <laughs> I love you. He ain't under there, man. <laughs> he blew up. He hit the... <laughs> <laughs> Take her down. <laughs> Guys, look, it's Ethan walking on the road. <laughs> Remember how fucking people are saying that? Holy shit. Alright, are we done? Let me let me see my rank. Father's story is now done. Good. Cook him, bro. Should have put him in an urn. Disintegrate that man. A new difficulty is available. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. You know what? I want to get to this. I want to... I want to... Could they not pick a less unfortunate acronym? Is that... Like... That's off the table. They've gone like... They're like five games deep with this horrible acronym. Seriously, like we couldn't... We You got a whole board, a whole million dollar company could not come up with, with something better than, than those two letters put together. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> like... Fucking amen, brother. Rocket pistol. Yeah, this shit was trash. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Look at this shit, bro. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that shit's so stupid. Well, that's uh, the worst mainline one. I don't want to say the worst one ever because I don't... I don't know what half the spin-offs are like, but god damn, that is tragic. Let me go to the online store. I want to buy the trauma pack. And listen, man, I'm not going to come in here and say, oh, there's no good ideas in here, right? Like, yeah, they got some cool, like, side quests and shit. Unfortunately, <laughs> the main part is so trash that, like, I don't even think they can, like, make up for it, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know. What are we, what are we thinking here? I think F for, for the vibes, you know what I mean? So like, as a game, right, it's like, whatever. It's like a 6, 7 out of 10. The Resident Evil game, horrible. <laughs> it sucks. As a sequel to 7, it sucks. As like a homage to 4, it sucks. As a combination of both, it sucks. The story is just Silent Hill 1's, but worse. And the story of Silent Hill 1 isn't even that great. Come on, it's just bad. I don't know, I don't got, I don't got any love for this game, bro. <laughs> I also hate the way that it's just called Village. I mean, sure, it has the ace there, but like on every storefront, on every like news thing, Resident Evil Village, it's like, that just sounds fucking stupid. <laughs> like, Seven is still called Seven. Biohazard. Like there's a after part to it. <laughs> like, no, this one's just Village. Horrible. I mean, I just got beef with eight games of horror franchises, I think. I mean, there's only two that I know of. <laughs> but, shit, man. And that's my mainline list. <laughs> so now, and, and now the plan is to wrap back around to side modes, side content, remakes, spinoffs, you know. I wanted to do mainline, and then all the other shit after that. That's what we're doing. We're wrapping back around to, I don't know what I want to do first. I guess RE2B scenario, and then 
I guess just in release order. Because I want to play RE1 Remake before Zero, because I, I feel like that's more of a sequel to RE1 Remake than it is a Zero of the franchise, which that's why I didn't play it along with the main line, because it would have been weird if I started this series out with prequel to the remake, sequel kind of thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what we're going to do, I think. Uh, we're doing everything, okay? We're doing fucking side modes. I, I want to do demos, bro. <laughs> like, I want to do demos, side modes, fucking... <laughs> like, I want to do... I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to do all of it. We're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. This game is the only one that's problematic because it's not anywhere. You can't find this shit anywhere. There's no emulator that has it working. Um... So I guess I'm buying a capture card for that game. I mean, if one of these is like a super stinker, like maybe it gets bumped up to D, right? But like, out of the main ones, no contest. Like, yeah, yeah, six. Six is bad. Six is bad. I know six is bad, but it does what it wants to do. Well, it's a fun action game. Yeah. But it's not scary. I don't care. Is this? No. It's like... Whatever, dude, I'm making up arguments with myself again. I gotta stop, I'm gonna get out of here. That was horrible. <laughs>